Truly, I don't know that we've had a more consequential election in quite some time, right? This is a year when Washington really has become Hollywood. I mean, you can't write fiction any better than what's happening in reality in politics today in America. I will stand up and fight for you! This country belongs to all of us. I'd like to punch him in the face. It's a circus out there. The circus is here. They're filming you. Oh, you've seen it. The original concept of the circus and the reason we did this is because we thought it'd be fascinating for people to see what goes on behind the scenes in a campaign. I say it from my heart and my brain. Right. It's not just heart, it's heart and brain. We work really hard to try and get places that most cameras don't get to go, and we use our relationships and history and experience to try and do that. You're looking great. Good to see you. I'm very happy about what we've actually been able to do. This campaign's already been incredible. You think about Night of the Iowa caucuses, back in Bernie Sanders' hotel room, and I am there. Best night of your political life? It is an extraordinary, you know. <laughs> the night of the New Hampshire primary, Donald Trump has won his first election ever. And you end up on the plane. But I would have to say that there's, I've, I've never seen anything like this. And an incredible scene that you shot with Jeb Bush the day before he dropped out. And you can see his desperation and his resignation on his face. Those were like huge moments in this campaign where we were able to take the viewer behind curtains and behind closed doors. Possible to make this election about hope? Oh. Still as opposed to fear? Wouldn't it be good? We start out with like 22 candidates, and the first 12 episodes basically gets down to Clinton, Bernie Sanders, and Trump. Period. The first week in July, we're going to show the conventions like they've never been shown before, and it looks like the conventions are going to be like they've never been before. The real prize is winning in November. There's some chance there'll be a contested convention on the Democratic side, because Bernie Sanders says he's going to fight all the way. We're in this for the long haul. You're going to see the new running mates. Both of them are going to pick the vice presidential candidates. You're going to see both of them playing the pageantry, drama, and tension. You think she's afraid of you? The last person she wants to run against is me. All over the world, people are fixated, obsessed with this election, obsessed with Trump, obsessed with Clinton. I want you to want me. Clinton versus Trump has just started. This is not a one-on-one -on race. And in some ways, it's clan against clan. It's not personal. It's just business. There's a lot of focus on the candidates, but, but some of the most interesting players in this drama are not the candidates. It's the staff, it's the campaign press secretary, it's the field director. There's no one who's more emotional, more invested in these campaigns than the candidates' spouses, their kids. He understands people, and the passion is real. Circus is working best when we're eyewitnesses to history, but also eyewitnesses to humanity. It's the high human drama of politics. High drama, high stakes, and the high hat. I love you!